Yo, boys, love them knives channel. We've gone carbon fiber. Um, Non-reflective carbon fiber. I don't know, it's getting kind of a glare off the previous uh, surface. So I thought, I'm going to put me a slab of carbon fiber down here, see what this does. Put my sticker on here, all that, I'm ready to go. QY GMGS, this is a no-name knife. This is a small knife. This is about a three inch blade, seven inches overall length, so it's not real big. Like the previous one that I was talking about, which is the QI GMGS WD-107. I think it's WD-107, okay? And this is a button lock with M390 blade. And uh, I like it, but it was like around a buck 85, you know, 185 bucks on uh, Amazon. Okay, I get it. I mean, I would think anything, in, you know, would would be this price or higher. I mean, if this had a name to it that had market recognition and reputation, obviously this would be probably closer to $300, etc. Okay, but it doesn't, so it doesn't. And then I uh, did a video and there's a discount code below and all that. So I think you can net out it around... 140 something for this knife if you do that i'd have to double check that but and this one will have a discount code and you know they're selling them for like 146.99 and then you can hit the five percent coupon in this box but i uh, check below for a coupon code as well that may add more to it that you can combine with that and uh, a say assisted opening, I don't know. I mean, I guess that means the flipper tab, but that is that is tough because some people, that, most people know that assisted opening means it's got a spring in there, like a Kershaw or a, or a you know, Columbia River, CRKT, whatever, you know, those kinds of things. But this is no, this is not that, okay? And it's centered... It's got some nice standoffs on it. Uh, TC4 Titanium. And I thought I'd do this video because I've had this knife for like three weeks now. And uh, you dragging it around, you're going to start getting snail trails. And I thought I better get this up before, before I do any more to it. And I'm looking around going if this will wipe off or not. So I may have already uh, dragged it from pillar to post and got a few marks on it. Um, such is the story of titanium, right? Um, we'll take it apart and look to see if we got ceramic bearings, all that kind of thing. But it's got a nice drop to it and kind of a nice sound. You know what I'm saying? Interesting. Feels light in the hand and it ain't, it ain't much. It ain't much, but a three inch blade, etc. 2.67 ounces. That's, uh, that's insane. Okay, let me get it to a place where you can see ounces. 75.5 grams. Yikes. And, you know, you could claim this blade as three inch or you could go a little bit more. Because up here is three inches, but you know, the bolster slants. And so you probably got a 3.15 cutting edge <clears throat> or 3.1 at least. And then out to here, you know, it's past three and a quarter, 3.3, whatever. That's about 85. But up here, it's closer to 80 millimeters uh, blade length. And then overall, it's right at seven, a little over seven at 18 centimeters so that's that and then uh let's get overall 11.2 not much 0.44 that's pretty thin and uh let's kick this over just a smidge and see what we can get that's 0.12 uh, let's settle it down 3.2 millimeter okay uh, blade stock so it's not bad a lot of knives now are three millimeter not that thicker is better but it's 3.2 millimeters so there's what that is and it's got jimping up here i like this fuller that goes forward i like the cutaway here 
and you have a little front choil. Uh, I don't know. Well, you could. You could probably get up there if you needed to for something, but it's a small knife. I think you can get pretty good control just like that. And let me see if I... little piece of paper here. Now it's... It's got a pretty good edge on it. That's nothing to be ashamed of. I, I wouldn't say it's scary sharp, but uh, it's it's pretty good factory edge on it. So uh, there's your lockup. 25% uh, hardened steel insert over travel stop. You can see through there. Uh, so they've got all those accoutrements and uh, titanium pocket clip. Uh, open design though and you can see where they've uh, done I thought they I thought I saw a little pocketing but you know what I don't see any on this side at all although for no more than a ways wow uh, that, I don't know how they got it that light without doing it but that that's that's a nice little fidgety factor thing it's not a front flipper design flow is pretty good uh, blade to handle length is reasonable. I mean, maybe could have tucked just a tiny bit in there, but not much more than that. So, yeah, I mean, uh, ergos, they're reasonable. They're reasonable right in here. Uh, yeah, that's, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, so, you know, there's just a lot to this knife that's kind of interesting. It's a decent design. Is it inspirational? Is it world class? Mm, nah, nah. But um, considering the materials, uh, the fidget factor and all that, I think it's, it's definitely could be in consideration for some people that find this design attractive. And you know, there'll be some knives I'll look at and go, I would never buy that ugly ass thing. And thousands of people chase it. So, you know, don't trust my opinion on how, how you know, how wonderful the design is because there's a lot of people that are very different in their, in their opinion of what constitutes uh, a really cool looking design so yes and uh, yeah it should be pretty easy to maintain drop is it easy to disengage this yes how quick over the detent ball well it already is okay so by the time the flipper tab hits you in the thumb it's over the detent ball and the drop is pretty nice well, let's see what we can do here. We have entry to the front or the back. Let me see if we turn both of them. And I feel like I'm turning both. Yes, I do. Oh, got to come out the front then. There's where the threads are. Okay. So I guess we're going to take it apart from the presentation side. And you know what? These are all number eights. So it's not like these guys are just fooling around. They're thinking about this, aren't they? Okay. And, yeah, those are the same size. So at that point, what's this? Ooh. And we have no... Um, uh, we have no weight relieving here, but like I said, I mean, it's like 2.6 ounces and we have ceramic, ceramic bearings. And what do we got here? Uh, hardened steel insert. Uh, it doesn't look like a ceramic detent ball. Um, here's the pivot, but it's pivot, but it's not a captured pivot. So that came from the back. All right. And uh, I'm looking at this trying to think where's the uh, 
was there a washer? And no, I didn't see a washer uh, either way. And I don't want to see one in here either, do you? No. So I don't see a steel washer in there, even though we got titanium interfacing with these bearings. Okay. Here, 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 and here. So we got the model YHZ, just remember that, wow, uh, of the GY, or the QY, I'm sorry, QY GMGS. Boys, you got to do something about that name, please, you're going to drive me crazy. Uh, but real fidget friendly, super lightweight, really, at under three ounces, uh, titanium frame lock flipper, uh, okay. Okay. Check down below for the link, and I'm not an affiliate. I don't get paid. I just thought it was interesting to go off-road and do this. And th yeah, then I did communicate with the company, but it was because I had questions and stuff. So take care, my friends. Yes, we're doing a little of the odd and unusual, which is fun to do because we love them knives. So you guys, stay sharp.